It's November. I'm doing a no spend, low spend month. And so today I'm shopping my pantry and making a menu plan from that. Before we menu plan, I just want you to know that I had already filmed this video and I walked out my door and my butcher box came. Today is free turkey Friday. And they actually had a promotion where you got a turkey and you could send a turkey to someone else. And so I, I was very excited just to send the turkey that I sent to a friend and they got a turkey for free and they were surprised. I'm not gonna tell you who it was, but it was, I'm, I was excited about it. And then I got my turkey today and I have not seen it yet. So I wanna show you what came in my turkey box, which is completely separate from a regular butcher box. This, this was a special promotion. So I am going to open it now. <clears throat> And of course, it just got delivered, so it always has the um, dry ice bag, but mine is completely empty now, so it's totally fine. But I'm gonna show you my turkey. <laughs> okay, this is my turkey. Here it is, this is what it looks like. And it, when you get a turkey from Butcher Box, it's supposed to be like a 10 to 14 pound turkey. This one's 11.7 pounds. And it says all natural young turkey, all natural diet, raised without antibiotics, complete traceability to farm. That should be, I hope that's important to you guys. Um, so, ah, and it's got one of those little pop-up thingies, which is so helpful. So it's very cold, so I'm putting it down. <laughs> they also said for your Thanksgiving day enjoyment, sausage, but your box is sausage. It says pasture raised, antibiotic free, pork breakfast sausage, and hickory smoked uncured bacon. So I actually don't eat pork, but this, I, I knew this was coming because it was just part of their package. And so I have friends that do, and so I get to be like a double blessing and give this not just to, like have this not just for myself, but also be able to give some of it to my friends who are gonna enjoy that. So today is free turkey day with Butcher Box. Actually, they are free turkeys. If you get your first Butcher Box, you get a free 10 to 14 pound turkey from now to November 15th. But today, if you order, just today, Friday, you get an extra $10 off. I have a link down in my description box, it's my affiliate link, and you can use that link and the code and get your free turkey and $10 off if you order your Butcher Box for the first time now. So if you wanna go ahead and try Butcher Box now, it's a really great time to do it. Go check that out. I'm so excited. And like I said, you can get a free turkey from now till November 15th. So excited, it's a great company. So anyway, all right, now let's go menu plan for this week. Hey guys, it's Amanda and today I'm shopping my pantry. Now I already did an inventory this week, which I will link at the top if you have not checked that out yet, but I've actually gone through all of my cabinets and I have pages and pages written down of things that I have on hand and I'm totally stocked for this week and next week I may need to get a little bit of fresh veg, but not much. So, so today I'm actually going to make my menu plan for the week. And I actually went ahead and did what I normally do in a low spend month, which is I ask my family what their favorites are. I have a family favorites list that I always do just to see if there's something that people want to eat because I always say, if you're gonna do a no spend, low spend month, the key is to get your family involved, okay? Your family has to be 100% on board or you will struggle. So I asked my family members, what they wanted and uh, they gave me a list and they actually gave me a list that was longer than the week. So I'm not gonna be able to do all of it this week but I am gonna try to fit some of it in and I'm gonna put things on the board and you can see exactly how I make my menu plan. But first things first. So this is my whiteboard in my kitchen and I usually put the days of the week up there first. All right, so I went ahead and put on the board Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So today, through next Thursday, we're gonna schedule it out. And I know that today, I am definitely making steak for me and Rick, because I took steak out to thaw yesterday, didn't use it, so I'm going to definitely be making that tonight. And um, probably just gonna have mashed potatoes with it, and some kind of veg, depending on what fresh veg we have in the fridge, and I think kale, I think I need to use up some kale. So we'll probably do steak, potatoes, and kale for dinner. Okay, so tomorrow I plan to have a breakfast dinner for sure because um, I have some breakfast sausage that's been sitting in my fridge that needs to be used and um, frankly I'm just in the mood for a breakfast dinner. <laughs> so, 
So we're definitely gonna do that tomorrow. And um, I'm gonna make sausage, eggs, um, probably some biscuits. And beyond that, I'm not sure. Um, but I think that's plan. I might make some roasted potatoes as well. So I have to think of some veg to put in there. I, that's, I'll probably, if I do the eggs, I'll probably put some spinach or um, maybe some more kale if I have any left over in with the eggs, maybe make it like an omelet. Um, definitely got some peppers and onions and I can use. So I think we're good on breakfast tomorrow. And I think that's definitely what's going on our menu. So let me write that on the board. All right, so now we're gonna get to what my family wants. And um, I have a list here and I'll tell you what's on it. They want meatloaf, crockpot lasagna, a fish chowder. They've asked for fajol, we haven't had that in a while. Uh, sausage tortellini, soup of Toscana, and that's that. So a lot of those use Italian sausage. I think I only have like two packs of Italian sausage in the freezer and we would use it all this week if I did all of those Italian sausage meals. So I think I'm just gonna do like one, maybe two and um, try to squeeze that in there but I'm gonna try to separate them out. And I'm definitely gonna try to do the meatloaf because that was specially requested. But meatloaf sides are very similar to what you'd have with steak. So I'm probably gonna put that a little bit further down in the week. So let's see if we can't divide this up. I definitely want something completely different than breakfast the next day. Breakfast is kind of a heavy sort of meal. So we could probably break that up with one of these soups. So we could do um, chowder or fajol or a soup Toscana. Um, I'm thinking that we will probably lean to maybe fajol because that is more, it's completely different. I like to put meals that are completely different next to one another. So like breakfast is bread and eggs and meat and <laughs> vegetables. Fajol is a little bit of meat, vegetables, broth, and beans. So, and, and a little bit of pasta. So it's it's not, it's it's a lot of different kind of flavors and a different a lot of different textures. So it doesn't get boring. So it doesn't feel like we're having, you know, something creamy and potatoes night after night. You know, it's all very different. So like we have a steak, potatoes, and kale, then we have a breakfast, and then we're gonna have a soup. So that way nobody gets bored. So fajol was on the requested list, I'm gonna put it on the board. And I say fajol, but it's actually pasta eat fajol. I have a recipe for it, I'll link it at the top if you wanna try that. Um, I didn't put it on the board, but generally speaking, when we have pasta fajol, we have it with a salad and some like garlic bread if I feel like making it. So that's that's an option that we could have as well. If we have any leftover biscuits, maybe I'll put a little butter and garlic salt on those, put them in the oven, and we can have that with the pasta fajol as well. So with pasta fajol the next night, I definitely think we could the next day maybe try the meatloaf because there'll be enough days separating it I don't think anybody's gonna be offended. And one of my other big things that I always tell people when you make a menu plan is to check your schedule. And this particular week coming up, I know we don't have anything happening on Monday. Our busy day is actually Thursday. So Monday will be a great day to do a meatloaf because it does take a couple of hours to prepare it and put it in the oven and everything, cook it. So we'll do um, meatloaf on Monday. Monday meatloaf, that's perfect. And since we're gonna have the oven on anyway, I went ahead and put baked potatoes on there and veg. So that, that would be whatever I feel like kind of veg that day. <laughs> so it could be green beans, it could be spinach, it could be broccoli, you know, whatever we have. We have tons on hand, whatever I feel like that's different. I think broccoli might be a little bit different from everything else, so I think that'll work out really well. So now that we had that heavy meatloaf again i think it's good to have a nice light meal the next day um so how about both chowder and supa toscana which are on my list are kind of creamy because they use a lot of heavy cream and it's not a non-creamy dinner um, another thing I noticed, there's no chicken on here. And if you watched my video, you know that I have like 97 pounds of chicken, like a lot of chicken. So even though it wasn't on my family's requested list, I definitely think a good meal that we could have and put on here would be a chicken soup, maybe chicken and rice. I think that might work. And that'll give us a lot of veg. That'll give us a different meat, a different flavor sensation. And I think we'll, we'll be in better shape if we do that. So let me go ahead and make sure we're using some chicken. I'll put a chicken soup, chicken and rice soup, and we'll be set. All right, so I think we need something spicy because fajol is kind of spicy, but then meatloaf and chicken soup, that's kind of bland. We've got we've to mix it up a little bit. Um, I do have some spicy options on here, 
But again, I think I'm going off their suggested list. I'm going to keep some of these things that they're interested in having for maybe the next week. And I think the next day we should have um, probably tacos. And the great thing about that is I know Rick is off that day. And I can have a quick easy meal that we can throw together and that way Rick and I can actually go out and enjoy the day and I don't have to be stressed about a dinner. And it has all the vegetables, it can have a little bit of spice, a little bit of flavor. It's not bread or any other thing heavy. So I, I think we'll be in good shape. Maybe even a taco salad. So let's do a taco salad. And I was just thinking as I wrote it that I don't have any chips. But what I do have are taco shells that I can bake and crunch up and still use it like a taco salad. So perfectly fine. I think it'll be good. So that leaves Thursday. Thursday is a day that I know, like I said, that I am busy. So I think the very best thing to do for Thursday is to plan that crock pot lasagna, which I think will be perfectly fine after all these other meals. It's flavorful, it's different, pasta, we haven't had pasta since Fajol. So it's splitting everything up and I think everybody will really appreciate it after a busy day. So we will definitely have our lasagna. Again, I usually serve that with just a salad and maybe breadsticks if I have them. If not, no big deal. So I'm thinking that we're going to go crock pot lasagna and that will wrap up our week. And there it is, my full menu plan for the week for dinners. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. What about lunches and breakfast? Well, as you know, I have taken to putting options on the board for breakfast and lunch because everybody in my family is older and most of the time they make their own breakfast and lunch. So I just put some suggestions up there and people make them. Um, almost every day my husband has eggs without fail. <laughs> He'll, whatever vegetables we have in the fridge that we need to use, he'll fry them up, put a little leftover meat, whatever kind we have in there, and have the eggs, and he's good, okay? But there's options. We could do wraps, because there's wraps in the fridge. We could have oatmeal, which is my favorite, and smoothies, which is Brianna's favorite. Those are all things that everybody can have. We have loads of frozen um, berries, and we still have the avocado. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that we have that we could use. So breakfast is totally, we have, we have plenty of stuff for it. Lunches, the number one thing we usually have for lunches right now is leftovers because I'm used to feeding a family of six. And now it's really just me, Rick, and Brianna here the majority of the time. And Brian is working so much with different shifts, a lot of times he'll take care of his lunch out. So... I have a lot of leftovers and normally that's what we have for our lunches. So I will put that on the board because my goal is always not to waste anything. So leftovers, we wanna use all of those. And then in addition to that, we have some box soups that need to be used. I think we have some ramen, we have some Lipton soup, we have some onion soup. And again, I'm just trying to use up all those things that we have sitting in the cabinet to just keep it refreshed. Um, sandwiches, we have tons of frozen bread. It's actually taking up space in my freezer. So I'm gonna make sure that that is taken care of for sure. So that I think, I put egg salad over here for a sandwich because I, I do wanna make that. Somebody did request that. But we do have regular meat just sitting in there. For, like we have um, ham that I don't know if you saw in my inventory. And um, you know, we have, goodness, I have tons of chicken. I keep making chicken and I have leftover chicken. I even have chicken in my freezer that's already pre-cooked and shredded that you could make into a barbecue chicken. You know, you could put some mayonnaise with it and make it like a chicken salad. It's really easy to fix it up so it can be a different sandwich. So sandwiches, super, I'm just, I'm just keeping it simple this week, guys. I'm just keeping it simple. So anyway, so this is our main menu. And if you're thinking of snacks, don't. <laughs> need any uh, there there are options I I'm sure you saw we have y'all we have caramel chips we have chocolate chips um, goodness the kids are always buying snacks there's always snacks lingering around our house so um, our goal is actually to try not to snack <laughs> but lately I've actually been enjoying it if you've been watching our Bible studies I've been having like a cup of tea every day and that's been like my favorite snack like my little go-to snack tea and honey I mean, it's just really good. And I've been having it at night and it's like my favorite thing. So I didn't put snacks on the board, try not to have any, but we do have some in the house if anybody wants to make any. So anyway, all right, well, that's it. That's It's kind of a pretty simple menu plan, but that is it. This is what I'm doing to pantry shop since we are not shopping this week. Next week, I might have a little mini haul if we need to get some like produce, but I'm really trying to spend as little as possible this month, guys. 
if you are doing a low spend or no spend month, let me know how you're doing. Are you, are you keeping going with it? Everybody doing okay? I think that we've been pretty good with no shortages here. So I hope where you are, things are going well and there's no stress and you guys are just making good use of what you have on hand. So anyway, that's it. You guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.